sometimes you just got to wait. And it's, it's true. It's like, you just put in the work, you take joy in the process. You, you find the joy in whatever it is that you're doing and life will, will open up more opportunities for you. Um, so I, uh, I'm interested to know what it is, what, are you working towards anything in particular or does it go back to your mantra of like you're just going through life, living this journey and wherever life takes you is a pleasant surprise or 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 do you have a definition of success? Do you have do you have a goal that you're working towards? <laughs> so speaking of quote unquote deadlines and time, time is a trick and I don't believe in deadlines um, to begin with. Um, in terms of goals, when one says goals, it has an end mark. I don't have an end mark uh, for me. I feel like my career just is now restarting because now I've entered a different um, genre and space into the fantasy, high drama, high action world. So um, I am kind of new as a filmmaker. Um, and people are just discovering me, um, where I'm going to meet success is having a peaceful mind is success to me. When, of course, it's not 24 seven, but if your baseline in your mind is at peace, I do everything to work towards that and being in the flow so that the creativity comes out. To me, that's being successful. I'll look at my week and go, you know what? This was a really great week. I was not looking at my bank account. I was looking at my level of peace and interaction with people in exchange. That to me is successful in the now. The future will come, you know? By the way, the past doesn't exist. The future doesn't exist. We know that. That's why time is a trick and the only moment that exists is right now. So let's just plant great seeds now. You and I planted great seeds together on the set when we met a couple of years ago, right? This is one of the yep. seeds sprouting. So I we didn't know that you'd have an amazing podcast. Well, the universe did and here we are right now. So that's how I view life. Like it is, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. And how can you have kindness towards one another and help towards one another? To me, that's what success is about. And what are some of the tools that you use to come to that piece? One, I know because we've <laughs> crossed paths in the boxing gym um, and and I know you love boxing. But so what? Yeah. that's obviously a tool you use. Anything else? Okay, so I... Boxing is the very main tool. Um, shout out to the plant-based boxer in LA, um, who's my trainer and Mina's trainer. And I love him. Um, it's just, it's a mind, it's a martial art and it's about your mind and being quick. And, and there's, you can't think about anything when you're boxing, because the minute you start thinking about something else, you will wind up making a bad move and you could get hit. So it's like one of those things, it's not about the violent sport, it's about the meditative sport and action. So I do boxing. I also undergo a lot of hot and cold therapy. I do infrared sauna. I do cryotherapy. I take care of my body and mind um, a lot. I spend a lot of time when I'm not, and even when I'm prepping and, and obviously directing, I feel like I'm an athlete and I have to approach my life like an athlete. When one is on set on these long, big shows and you're traveling all over the world and you're leading like the crews, like your army and I'm the general, I have to be in perfect shape. My mind has to be clear and I have to have the physical stamina to direct and run around in extra cold environments up all night in the desert in the middle of a sandstorm. So I approach my filmmaking, which is a creative sport, like an athlete. So I'll do, I do everything around that. Um, you know, that's like my, my day. It's like boxing, infrared, cryo, you know, then I have yes. meetings. If it's, you know, it's one of those things for me. It sounds like a real busy day. <laughs> it is an exhausting, by the end of the day, I'm like, why am I so tired? And when I tell my <laughs> friends, they're like, Senna, you were like, 
boxing like a lunatic all morning. <laughs> I'm like, but when, when I don't, I'm like so energetic. Like today I've been in, yeah. you know, doing all this press stuff. I mean, I have, I'm not going to be done until later tonight. And I, and I feel great, but I think it's important to keep, and that's what I tell actors. I, 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 I you know, not just actors, but when, when we're, we, when we're not on a project, move through space as if so train you don't have a project spend a lot more time training and doing the things that you didn't have time for the minute you do that you're calibrating your body and your mind for the next thing and every time i've done that the next thing comes in